it's eight below and it's two below at the supercharger station in the garage and the charger is charging super slow i am the only one here nothing else is being used and i've been charging for a bit now and you can see i've got up to 167 miles an hour charging rate good morning youtube and i want to show you a couple things that how the tesla is a lot different from your typical ice cars internal combustion engine cars and a couple of reasons why uh you know pros and cons to both one thing that's nice about the electric car uh, the tesla is that you can see my garage door is closed and the great thing about it is i can warm my car up and not have to open up the garage door internal custom uh, the ice cars if you did that, you'd have to worry about carbon monoxide. So that's one real nice benefit of having a car like this. Get in, car's warm. It's eight below outside, but the car, you know, is warmed up, everything like that. So here's a few other things about uh, what's going on around here right now. It's eight below at the moment. And yesterday was my first real experience in a Tesla at these temperatures. I knew it would have some effect, but I didn't really realize how much effect. Because just at freezing or right below freezing, it affected it a little bit, but nothing that really phased me. And, but yesterday I drove to work and I was surprised at how many, uh, how much energy that it took. So I'm gonna take a look today. It's showing 184 miles. You can see my projected range is 106 right now. And so we'll see today kind of what it all looks like. But yesterday I had a, actually, and I plug in my, my car at the office. I actually had to go to a supercharger and get some more charge because just coming home and taking my kids to uh, uh, a couple practices, it, I didn't think I was gonna make it back to the house. And I've got some clips of that I'll show you here in a little bit also. But uh, it, it's interesting how it's really affecting. And one thing while it was supercharging, it was making some weird noises, some popping sounds under the car. I was getting a little nervous about what was happening. I'm sure it's just because it was so cold and you have all that energy pouring into the car so quick that it probably had a little bit of that. But like I said, we'll take a look here today and see, um, you know, and see what it what it's all about, and see how much energy and stuff it uses today. And I'm going to do a couple other experiments today too, just to see what all transpires. And this <coughs> and this is a spot where. My autopilot always seems to mess up on it, so I always have to kick it off and then turn it back on. Um, but what else? But the cold is having some effects on the car. Uh, I'm having a problem with my, my one door. I'm not sure what's all going on there. I'm gonna have to dig into that a little bit. Um, also, uh, the, the main thing is just the energy consumption and you know different things around this i'm just really surprised let's change that to a five mile just so we can kind of see more uh, what's going on at the moment so 181 to uh, 119 we probably went
went just a little over a mile right now so far. And um, so it's gone down, what, three miles already. Uh, schools are closed today due to, the, due to the temperature. Our kids are happy about that. Uh, yeah, so now it's projecting we got a 116 mile range.
we've driven basically 22 miles, 151 miles remaining, it says up here, 108 over here, projected average miles.